Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Riti and I'm back with another lecture in the SQL series. So in this particular video, we would be learning about case and if in SQL. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now what is this case and if used for? So whenever we want to perform any conditional logic in our queries and on basis of that we want some values, we use this case and if statement. So let's see. So case allows you to perform conditional logic within a query. So whenever we want to perform a conditional logic, Logic in our query we use this case now it can be used with both select as well as update statement to evaluate the condition and return the specific values based on those condition so if there is a condition c1 it will return the value r1 if there is a condition c2 it will return the value r2 so based on some specific condition if we are getting some specific result we use the case in sql now consider on the basis of day number you have to print the day if the day number is 1 you have to print monday if day number is 2, you have to print Tuesday and so on. So how you can use the case statement here? So let's go to the query. So we'll give case and then we provide this when and then we provide the condition. So here we can give the condition as day number is equal to 1 and then we provide this then and then we provide the results. So when day number is 1, we provide it as Monday. Now coming to next statement. So we will give when and then the condition 2 is day number is equal to 2 and then the result is Tuesday. So in this manner we can provide for all the days. But consider if someone provides the day number as 9. So this is an invalid case because we have only 7 days. So we can provide it in else statement that else if none of the day number matches then we can provide the result as invalid. So we can provide the invalid here and then we can end our case. So it just acts like a switch statement which is present in our programming. So we can use the case like that. Now case can be used with select as well as update statement. So let's see the use cases. So the very first question is categorize the student on the basis of percentage to top pass and fail in a new column category. So you have been provided with a student percent and then you have to categorize this percentage on the basis of top pass and fail. So consider if a student achieves a percentage greater than 90, it lies in the top. If the percentage is between 89 to 34, it lies in the pass. If the percentage is less than 33, then it lies in the fail. So we have to categorize the student. We have to show all these values in a new column called as category. So let's see that how we can do. So we'll give the query as select and then all the columns which we want to show in the final result that is student ID, student name and percentage and then we'll provide the case. So first case is when the percentage is greater than 90, the student will be having top. Second is when the percentage is between 89 to 34, then the category will be pass. And last case is when the student is having less than 33%. So we can provide that in else block. So we can give else fail and then we can end this case but now we want to show all these categories in a new column or you can say alternate column category so we'll provide an alias and we will provide here category so it will show all these results top pass and fail in the category so and then we will provide from followed by the table name that is student so in this way we write the query for the case when we are using the select statement now let's see the use case of case with the update statement. So consider that there are some students who have got some grace marks. Now earlier the student grades were A plus, A, B, B plus, but now some students have got some grace marks. So update their grades where it's A, update it to A plus and wherever it's B, update it to A. So we have to update the grade of the student whenever we encounter A we have to update it to A plus whenever we encounter B we have to update it to A because they have got some grace marks. So let's see how we can use case here. So we'll give update followed by the table name that is student then we provide this set that go ahead and set that particular value and then we'll provide in which column we want to set the value that is grade and then we will provide this particular case. Now when the grade is equal to B then go ahead and update it to A and when the grade is equal to A then go ahead and update it to A plus. So this case will give me the values based on if the grade is A or if the grade is B go ahead and update it to A plus as well as A and then we can end the statement. So it will go ahead and update this particular value for this particular column whenever we encounter A it will be updated to A plus whenever we encounter B it will be updated to A. So let's see the use case of if. 
सो इट इज़ यूज टू रिटर्न वन टू वैल्यूज डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेदर अ कंडीशन इज ट्रू और फॉल्स इट इज़ नॉट सपोर्टेड इन मेनी डी बीज बट इट इज़ सपोर्टेड इन माई स्कूल सो द क्वेरी इज वी प्रोवाइड इफ एंड देन वी प्रोवाइड द कंडीशन लाइक कंसिडर डे नंबर इक्वल टू वन नाउ देन वी प्रोवाइड द ट्रू वैल्यू एंड इफ दिस इज नॉट ट्रू इफ दिस कंडीशन इज नॉट ट्रू देन वी प्रोवाइड द फॉल्स वैल्यू सो इफ डे नंबर इज वन Update or select this particular value. If day number is not one, go ahead and select or update this particular value. So let's see its use cases. So first is categorize the students on the basis of their percentage to top, pass, fail in a new column category. It's the same question. So here, if the percentage is greater than ninety, so it is a top student. If the percentage is between eighty nine to thirty four, it is a pass student. And if the percentage is less than thirty three. so it is a fail student so now we have three categories or we have three condition but using if we can only provide one condition on basis of c1 either we can give the result as r1 or r2 but we have three condition here so how we can use this so we'll use nested if so we will use if inside if and using this we can make the query so let's see so first for these two cases we will give it an if and then we will cover the third case because if the percentage is greater than 90% it will not come into this block but if the percentage is not greater than 90% it will surely come to this block so let's see so first we will give the inner block where we will give if percentage is between 89 to 34 then give as pass else give as fail so if this particular condition is true provide the value as pass else provide the value as fail now this particular if block will take care of these two condition now coming to the final condition so what we can do it we'll give select sid name percentage all the columns which we want to see in the final result then we will provide if and then we'll provide percentage so if the percentage is greater than 90 go ahead and give the top if this fails the percentage is not greater than 90 so it will lie in this particular range then execute this inner if so what it will do is when the percentage is greater than 90 it will go ahead and give the value as top if the percentage is not greater than 90 then it will go ahead and check in these particular two condition that it lies in 89 to 34 or if it is less than 33 and here it will check if it lies in 89 to 34 then it is pass if it does not lies in this as well as this then this is fail so in this way we use the if inside if or you can say nested if and then we provide as because we want to show it in a new column category so it will provide an alternate name and then it will create a category and then we can provide from and then we can provide the table name that is student now you may be thinking that case is very much easier than using if but if you use the if the time complexity would be lesser than case so in if the time complexity is very less so the queries run very faster but when you use the case the time complexity is a bit more than if so the queries take time to run now let's see the next one that is if with update statement so we have to swap all the f and m values that is change all the f values to m and vice versa so consider that there is a table where we have updated the wrong male and female so we have to swap the value of f with m and m values with f with a single update statement and no intermediate temporary tables So here we need to swap the values it's kind of updating the value into our table so let's see the query so first we'll give update and then we'll provide the table name that is employee so go ahead and update the employee table and then we'll provide the set set the value in the gender column and the condition is if gender is equal to m set the value as f and if the gender is not equal to m then set the value as m so this is the true when this particular condition satisfy this is the false value so if this particular condition satisfy then set the value as f if this particular condition does not satisfy then set the value as m so it will go ahead and find if m is there it will swap with f if f is there it will swap with m so consider if this is the gender column and in the gender column we have consider three rows where it is m f and m so first it will go to this row so it will come here set gender equal to if gender is equal to m is gender equal to m yes so we have to update the value to f so now it will give me f this particular 
conditional statement so it will go ahead and update the value as f here now it will again come to the second row it will check that if the gender is equal to m no the gender is not equal to m it's equal to f so it will come to the false value and it will update it to m so it will go ahead and update it to m now again it will come to this particular row and it will see if the gender is equal to m yes so it will go ahead and update it to f it will give me the result as f so it would be updated as f so in this way this particular if conditional statement works so this is how if and case works in sql i hope you like this video so if you like this video please hit the like button if you are someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you find it useful can go ahead and subscribe also if you have not followed me on my social media handles you can go ahead and follow the links are in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all